agree. It's a, with the results that went elsewhere, it could have been a chance that we could have went top of the table. Unfortunately, not to be. Yeah, um, good opportunity to miss today. You know, we've come to a tough place against a good team, and uh, but I thought we were absolutely. I thought for 60 minutes we were excellent today. Um, you know, we couldn't get that third goal. I think they would have killed the game. But I thought the boys were excellent, executed the plan perfectly. They couldn't play out from the back, put pressure on them high up the park. So. Yeah, um, but, but we've given away two goals by uh, conceding two free kicks and, and, and losing two goals by uh, from free kicks, which is which is disappointing. And uh, obviously the first goal has given them a bit of momentum. So we're a wee bit disappointed today, but it just shows you that we can come here and compete no problem. And uh, we're just disappointed that we never took the win today because I think we probably should have been 2-0 up. Made a couple of changes in the starting 11 today. What were your thoughts behind that? Well, we just had a look at Wraith and we, we, we had an idea how we wanted to play against them tactically, which, as I said, I think we got perfectly in the first half. And, uh, you know, and, and, and that was the reason we wanted to get different types of people in the park in different areas that can do different jobs. And as I said, I thought, you know, away from home against Wraith, I thought we were excellent. And uh, I'm just so disappointed to be standing here. We should be top of the league after last week's game and today's game. But that's where football gives you a bit of frustration. So, um, yeah, we're all a wee bit frustrated today. Um, Is it maybe in the... Th Ironically, the injury from uh, Benedictus, it's obviously changed the formation slightly, that's maybe changed no, things the way they played. No, not at all. I think uh, right up until 60 minutes, we're very, very comfortable. Um, you know, we can look back at the game, but it's a small, small, small margins and small details. If we just stand up and, uh, and, and we, we stay on our feet, we don't give away a free kick. Again, like I said, that gives them a bit of momentum. And then secondly, again, if we just stand up again and we don't give away that free kick, we probably win the game today. And uh, so that's the frustrating thing today. Nothing to do with shape in that. You know, I think uh, I think the boys' at effort and, and application, whatever shape they played in, today was good. As, as you mentioned, I mean, the, the first 45, 60 minutes, the guys were on top. I mean, I can hardly think in the first half of Cammy actually having a save to make. Yeah, listen, they played really well. We know how Wraith play, you know, they want to play at the back and stretch a game and they've got good players in the midfield with Henry and that, so we stopped them perfectly and, uh, and right up to 60 minutes, there was no, we were under not any, any, any real pressure, uh, but goals change games and uh, unfortunately we, we conceded a goal and it gave them momentum. And, uh, and certain things, we went against you late in the game, we Mo was injured, for, we were trying to bring on uh, Declan McManus and, uh, for Connor to give us fresh legs, you know, and then uh, Mo goes down injured, so you know, we had to make a replacement there, and uh, Michael Tidger hasn't played for a long time, so you run out a bit of steam. So we think sort of went against us today, but you know, we probably should have the game won. On the positive, you talked about Michael Tidzer. I mean, I thought his pass to, to Connor Salmon for that second goal was, was wonderful. He just seemed to uh, find him and the finish as well from uh, from yeah. Louis Longridge. I mean, the, the strikes, the goals were, were beautiful goals from Falkirk. They were. They were well worked and, uh, you know, and, and Michael can do that. But what we need to do is get him up to a certain level. He hasn't played for a bit there for certain reasons. So we took a wee bit of a chance playing him today. But again, the way we wanted to play today, it suited his uh, style of football, um, getting on the ball and playing them passes. So, yeah, um, like we're all just a bit frustrated today, but you know, there's lots of positive signs there. We've come away to Wraith Rovers, so you know, they're a good side and we really should have been 3-0 up and out of sight. So we've got to keep taking the positives and learn from our, uh, our mistakes today. The only thing as well, obviously, we've got a free week. It's always, a, I mean, being a, a manager, next player, normally if you don't get the required result, you want to try and play as quickly as possible. And we've got to, to wait 14 days. Yeah, but it's the same for everybody. But listen, we, we've got a game arranged this week for everybody that, that hasn't played today. The whole, the whole squad will be involved later in the week. So we, we're going to play another game to make sure we have everybody up to scratch for coming up with the, the following two home games. I know it's early in the days you talked about Mo Gomez. I mean, was that a, just a little nick? Uh, no, Mo's the, he stood some, done something he's told in the first half and somebody stood up in the second half and he, and he couldn't play on. He was in real pain. So unfortunately, we had to replace him. Um, as I said, well, we're going to go with a, a striker for Connor. But, you know, he's injured. He has to come off the park. So that's why we made that change. Ray, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.